All right, kids, don't try this at home. Well, dang it, that barely did anything. Here, let me try something else. There we go, check that out. That's beautiful. All right, now that we have destroyed our H-Series camera's RJ45 connector, let's go back inside and fix this thing. Hey guys, what's going on? This is Tyler from Nelly Security, and in today's video, we are going to try to fix this H-Series connector. Now, if you caught our video from last week, you already know how to do this for our R-Series cameras, but wiring our H-Series cameras is a little bit different, so I'm going to show you how to do that in today's video. The basic principles are the same, we're going to be using the same tools, so if you haven't already, go check out that video before you watch this one. Now let's go ahead and jump right in. You are going to need an RJ45 pass-through connector, an RJ45 Ethernet coupler, and an RJ45 crimping tool. The first step is going to be to cut off that bad connector. Be sure to cut off all the damaged pieces, but give yourself enough cable there to work with. Now strip back the cable jacket and reveal the wires inside. You might have to pull back some of the insulation at this point, cut that off so it's not in the way, and you'll be left with 10 wires. If you're used to terminating ethernet cables, this might look a little bit scary because there's a bunch of colors in here that you've probably never seen before. But it's really not that bad. Each color inside this pigtail corresponds to a color in your standard ethernet connection. You'll also see that red and black wire in there. Go ahead and cut those off because that is from the 12 volt DC connection. And if you're using power over ethernet, you won't need these. If you're not using power over ethernet, go ahead and cut these off anyway and grab yourself a PoE switch. Seriously, you won't regret it. Now that we've cut those two wires off, we are left with eight wires. Now this is gonna be easier than the R-Series camera because we get to use all eight wires and we don't have to skip any of these connections. So let's get these in the proper order. Orange, yellow, green, purple, gray, blue, brown, and white. Once you have those wires in the right order, slide your pass-through connector over the top and crimp it down and you are done. You now essentially have an ethernet cable coming right out of your camera. So when you add that ethernet coupler on there, you now have a makeshift pigtail. Connect this to your network and make sure it's getting power. You can see here our IR lights turned on, so we are getting adequate power to this camera. And be sure to check that this camera is showing up on the network. And there it is, the NSC218DM. Now again, depending on the type and amount of damage done to your camera's cable connector, this fix may or may not work for you. But since a damaged ethernet connector is enough to void your warranty, it's always worth giving this a shot to see if it does work before you just give up on your camera and throw it away. If you're going to be installing this outside, be sure to get some weatherproof tape and cover that thing as much as possible. Well, congratulations. You now know how to fix an R-series camera and an H-series camera. Be be sure to tune back in next week when we figure out a new creative way to destroy a Uniview camera. If this video was helpful for you, be sure to like it, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and follow us across social media so you never miss another security video. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time.